good morning. Today is Thursday, March 5th. Boy, I look like the Unabomber, don't I? <laughs> it's uh, quite windy outside, so we're going to be in the in the gay raj, as they say, because uh, it was a little difficult walking. I got a little bit of a workout when I had to walk against the wind, but I didn't think the high winds were supposed to come till tomorrow, but not that they were high winds, but they were they were gusty every once in a while. But um, nobody told me there was their birthday today, so there's no birthday songs. I um, probably go grocery shopping today, hopefully. I need to get some stuff, but we'll see. Fridays on, at Kroger's, they always have the Friday sales, and so I, now I try, I used to shop by Wednesdays, but now I try to wait till Friday because they have better sales on Fridays. But what was I going to talk about today? Our weight loss journey. Um, like I said in the beginning memes that maybe your destination isn't what you want it to be. Um, and you should just accept who you are and your um, weight loss as it's going. If, uh, if you reach a certain plateau and you're just not moving, don't get discouraged and just quit because uh, sometimes your body just has to readjust. Sometimes you can go crazy eating and lose weight and then you can go like I did last week and just be off a little tiny bit and gain more than you thought. Uh, your body is just so fickle and if you're going to wait until your body catches up with your mind, a lot of times you're going to be disappointed because uh, let's face it, our bodies have a mind of their own. So with that being said, spring is just right around the corner. We're going to be bringing out our spring clothes. So I propose that we go out and buy one new outfit. I know we all say, you know what, I'm going to buy these size 10 jeans when I can get into the size 10 jeans. And I'm just going to keep wearing these. And I'm guilty of that. My clothes are too big. I've even had people at my meetings say, you know, your clothes are a little too big. <laughs> so I'm kind of looking forward to when I can start putting shorts on because, uh, I'm not going to, you know, you know, I'm kind of just going against what I just said, but the reason I'm going to make it clear why is because by next winter I'm going to be in a much smaller size, and so I'm not going to buy something that's only going to last me like a month. But if I buy some spring clothes now, I can, I can still wear them now. It's, you know, like, especially in Michigan, the weather's so fickle, you know, it could be really warm today, and then we can have like seven inches of snow tomorrow. You never know. But, um... I'm not going to wait till I get to my perfect size to buy that fun outfit, that perfect outfit. I'm going to, I'm going to get it now. I really am. I'm going to enjoy myself. Uh, I'm going to like how I look in it. I'm going to know that in a couple months it's going to be too big. But then those are the kind of clothes you should donate to charity, not the ratty tatty ones that you know, like when you donate them and you think you're doing so well. When they go through them, they go, why would somebody donate this? And then they go into the trash pile. You couldn't put them in the trash pile, but they have no problem putting them in the trash pile. So, just think that even if you bought something that only fit for three months, um, you can donate it. You really can. And, and somebody will really appreciate the clothes that you gave them. And know who you are on this journey because you don't want to be known as the one that never wants to go to a party because they're on a diet. Or the one that's just going to say, oh, you're having that? Do you know how many points that is? Do you know how many calories there are? You know, you're going to find less and less invitations in the mail <laughs> or calling or texting because they're going to say, you know, I, it's good that she's on a diet. It's good that she's trying to lose weight, but I'm not there yet. And so why does she keep harping at me? The more she harps at me, the more I don't want to be on it. So just live your own life and don't worry about anybody else's because let's face it, you have to lose this weight for you. You have to do it for yourself. Nobody can do it for you. They can offer you a million and one different guaranteed plans to lose weight, but unless you control the portions, control what you put in your mouth, control the food that you bring into your house, you're not going to succeed. So uh, live your life, buy some outfits, buy some clothes, live for today because nobody's guaranteed tomorrow. You're, just, you're not even guaranteed the next minute. So live your life to the fullest every minute of the day and don't worry about getting down to that perfect weight or that perfect size because you know one day you will get there. But think of all the enjoyment you're going to miss out on the way getting there because this is a fun ride. It really is. And you learn a little bit more about yourself every day and you learn your triggers and you learn how to have fun 
and realize that food shouldn't be the, the, the all, of, all or nothing uh, option because it's, it's a good life. It really is a good life. And, and you can choose to be the downer that's always like, oh, I'm on a diet. I can't eat that. Or you can be the person that said, you know what? I really choose not to have that. I mean, I could have it. I really could, but I really don't want it right now. But thank you for offering. You know, something simple as that. You don't have to say, I'm on a diet. People don't like to hear that because they think, oh, you're better than me because you're trying to lose weight. No. Why, you know, if you're not hungry, you're not hungry. You may be hungry, but you just say, I'm not hungry. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, uh, stay on track today again. Um, I'm telling you, I'm hoping for... A 1.6 loss, I've decided, a 1.6. The one pound that I always want to lose and the six pounds that I shouldn't have gained because I don't think that that was, I don't think that was right. <laughs> I know it was right, it was on the scale. And see, I just told you, don't worry about the scale. And I am worried about the scale. But no more, I'm gonna enjoy my life. So, okay, I gotta feed my birds because they went, they went on a feeding frenzy yesterday. They were not on a diet yesterday. Let me tell you, they went crazy. I had a lot of birds yesterday, so. Okay, talk to you guys at breakfast. Okay, let's eat breakfast. Um, I'm gonna have some waffles and bacon and some uh, an egg and some berries, cup of tea. Uh, I started my day with a prayer. Today is March 5th. My quote is, don't be afraid that your life will end. Be afraid that it will never begin because in the end, we only regret the chances we didn't take. It's a seven point breakfast, three points for a third of a cup of Kodiak pancake mix three points for four slices of bacon, center cut, one point for a half a cup of sugar-free syrup, and zero for the berries and tea in the water, so it's seven points. I'm gonna have this tea again. Janice, I love this tea, it's delicious. Finished off my bacon, I'm gonna use that syrup and the Kodiak cakes. Doesn't that look yummy? And look at four waffles. I know they're mini waffles, but still, four waffles for a third of a cup of the mix. So worth it. Okay, for dinner, I'll show you my dinner. Um, I'm having uh, five points for two ounces of this Labrie garlic bread. I'm having one tablespoon of cinnamon butter, which is this one. Uh, two thirds of a tablespoon of the reduced fat cheese. A baked potato and two table. I only used one tablespoon of the uh, light sour cream and what else? Six points for my Alice's spring chicken and zero for my cranberry juice. I did lose a, use a little bit of lemonade, but I'm not counting the points because I didn't even use the full eight ounces. So there's my dinner. And it was 21 points, so I went five points over. But I did find out that uh, it comes to 28 points for my whole total for today. But to have a blue dot, you can be eight points over or 13 under on the blue plan. So my range is 10 to 31 points. So I am right on target. I realized yesterday when I was editing my video, I talk with my hands a lot. <laughs> and I'm not even Italian. <laughs> and I know that's a stereotype, and I don't mean to offend anybody, but... All of my uh, neighbors when I was growing up, there was a lot of Italians and they all talk like that. My aunt Rosemary is Italian and you gotta stay out of her way sometimes because she goes crazy with her hands. So, um, but anyway, my dinner was the Alice's Spring Chicken. I did a collab video for it. It's gonna be up on Saturday morning at nine o'clock if you wanna see how I made it. Uh, Jim is very picky. He doesn't like light meat, but uh, white meat or any kind. He likes dark meat and the chicken and the turkey and all that. But he really liked it and he said I could make it again. He would eat it again. So um, I don't know if it was just so much that I, he's been working so many afternoons that he hasn't been around my cooking lately. <laughs> but uh, the only thing that we didn't like, that both of us did not like, was that cinnamon butter. It, no. So don't get it. Unless you like that. It just, it was a cinnamon butter spread. So I don't know if that means it wasn't really butter. But uh, neither one of us liked it. And neither one of us liked the garlic bread either. <laughs> so uh, I don't know if that's, uh, it was a little too garlicky, I think, or something. I don't know what it was. It just, uh, and I love garlic bread, but uh, no, we both agreed that we didn't like it. So uh, 
I only ended up, I took another slice of bread, weighed it out, and I think it was an ounce, a little over an ounce. So um, I still counted it for, I forget how many points it was. I think it was five. I still included the five. Um, <clears throat> I'm going back to the full fat sour cream. I picked up the wrong sour cream when I was shopping the other day. Uh, it's only one point difference between the full fat that I usually buy and that uh, light. And I didn't like it. I scraped all of that off of my potato. And uh, I just ate my potato with a little bit of the cheese. And um, and that was fine with it. And then what else did I change? I ate the whole piece of chicken. Well, I mean, it was a small piece of chicken, but really it was big enough. The, the recipe had called to make... Um, four of them and I think I made three of them so I just cut one in half so maybe it wasn't even a full six points but I counted it as six points but anyway that's it for tonight um I was trying to think of what I was going to say can't think of what I was going to say I was going to say something but obviously it wasn't important so <clears throat> anyway uh if you're new to my channel please subscribe if you're new to my channel I sing to you on your birthday if you let me know when your birthday is and I will sing to you your anniversary I'll sing to that too maybe you don't want to hear me but you know I, I do enjoy singing and um, to stay on track I probably won't show you my food tomorrow it's Friday and I fast on Fridays so uh, just to alleviate getting comments about why aren't you eating you're not eating enough um, I don't do it to lose weight I do it for religious purposes so um, I'm just not gonna eat on Friday well not eat I, I'll, I'll eat I should take that back I'm, I will eat but uh, I only eat one meal, so um, I'll be fine. Look at me. I could live off the fat. <laughs> I'm not going to perish away, perish the thought that I'm going to wither away <laughs> by missing um, a, one meal or two meals on a, in a, one day. So um, <clears throat> anyway, that's it. I'm babbling now. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.